Right, here we go, uh, Microsoft Flight Sim has skews the weird view. Let us uh, get this hefty bird down the runway. We're taking off from Valley in Wales. Uh, oh, we would be. This thing is a uh, squeaky beast. Right, we're up. We're up. Just let me get a bit of height. Uh, so, um, I'm on a GTX 1080 Ti here, um, and we are, as you can see, ETAs off the engines, taking off from the airport, um, there's the sea, bit of sunset, nice clouds, I will go to the settings at the end, all the clocks I can read, without any huge problems, all the switches and everything else. Um, so, how do you get this to run on such a lowly temp series card, or rather, the top temp series card, but you know what I mean. That's dead simple. Um, turn off reprojection, or asynchronous warp. The game has it inbuilt, as I'm looking at the reflections in my window of the clouds. Oh, there. Um, so, yeah, it's got it built into the game, so if you've got it enabled in the headset, you get a clash and it turns into a stuttery horrible mess turn it off and as you can see everything is rock solid and looking pretty good we'll uh, just do a quick loop around here uh, if you're seeing any kind of weird flickering that will be the prop and also the heat haze because I haven't worked out how to turn it off and it looks a bit daft in VR. So there's the runway again in front of us. Nice water effects. Clouds are on medium I think. Possibly high, I'm not sure. Um, I've got no weird things going on in the horizon out at the distance, so I can see the, uh, the Snowdonia National Park, the mountains of, straight in front of me. Patches of low cloud like the one here, <coughs> and there's one all the way over on the mainland, that I can see just in front of the valley, and up towards Balor and some over on the right as well. So we no problem seeing things, um, looking out the window, back at the airport and there are quite a few vehicles and aircraft down there so it's drawing quite a bit um, but we don't have any weird stutters animations in here Everything fine all the clocks moving smoothly um, so I'll go for a little bit of a, a bimble but yeah the big the main thing is turn off asynchronous wall simple as that we will uh, get some crazy banking in here and go and uh, put this down on the water. As you can see, I'm doing silly manoeuvres here and there's no weirdness going on, no stuttering going on. And I am recording this on the same machine and it is running off a lowly GTX 1080. Uh, so we'll put this down in the bay. Yeah, I think the, uh, the actual race track is. Uh, you know, I need to Isle of Man then. The uh, Anglesey race track is just over here. So we'll put it off. Uh, we'll put it down just off the coastline there. Uh, might help if I uh, lock the tail and uh, take the. If I can remember where it is. I've not flown this very much, it's one of the new planes. Where is my undercarriage? No idea. I don't really want to land with that down. Just let me pick up the keyboard and hit G. Right, I can hear them squeaking up. Alright, okay. 
that would be a bit of a disaster right we'll just cut the throttles back here and bring it in so even when we get down low we're not getting any uh, any issues and we'll just put it down in the bay here as uh, lighting and uh, shadow effects and all the rest of it so yeah here we go and we strip some trees Shoot the props off. Just steer right a bit here so we don't bounce off this little bit of a rocky outcrop with some trees on. But that's it, quick one. But again, if you want to get Microsoft Flight Simulator running in VR, Tony, I'm looking at you. Yes, you, Tony. Sorry, hang on. Now I'm looking at Tony because Tony's down over there in Germany. Um, Turn off your asynchronous wall or your reprojection on your headset and you too can look at the beautifulness of uh, Microsoft Flight Sim. As you can see, this is not a small plane. There's a lot of modelling going on and uh, we can see absolutely everything, including the fuel gauge. Right, anyway, I've got some fishing to do. Adios.